Time to play with some clay. My clay is a little bit soft. It's almost melted. So it's going to be hard to work with and it's very hot so if you don't know I, I what I do is I use a plastiline clay and I have a swing arm lamp with a hundred watt bulb over it and I, that's what keeps my clay soft so I can work with it now I found a piece that actually works pretty good in my hand and uh, I'm going to start uh, applying it to the uh, piece. I had a pleasant conversation with somebody today that uh, has been following me for years on uh, YouTube. Uh, it always surprises me the, the different people that uh, see my videos and get something from them and what's surprising is the different walks of life of people out there from around the world i mean 20 years ago somebody tell me some somebody here or there would have been watching me work on my sculpture i'd have said you're crazy but uh video makes it a lot easier So basically what I'm doing right now is just filling in areas that need to be filled in. I am going to take you so far today because I just need to get it to the point where the uh, foundry can see what's going to happen on it and stuff like that. And then I'll uh, get a bid on it that will give me a good indication what kind of price I can place on this uh, piece in bronze. I'd like to put this in a, <clears throat> a gallery and try to sell copies, uh, precast copies off of uh, the clay, which would be cheaper than if they wait until it gets in bronze but it would help me to get it into bronze because there's a lot of expenditure uh, when you're getting something cast in bronze uh, just the casting of bronze alone is incredibly expensive but also making the mold of a piece can be very expensive. Now I've worked this out uh, as far as the uh, base goes. And let me show you. I put this rock in here, uh, right here. And uh, it fills in a lot of space that was empty and it does it in such a way that it doesn't uh, look like I filled it in. That's the real secret about, uh, you know, when you're filling in areas, uh, you have to, can't, you can't cast anything with deep, deep recesses. And, and so I filled in behind the rock and up behind the loincloth as well. And I need to fill in this little hole right here. I haven't done that yet. Um, I filled in behind this leg here. I put this rock in here and um, added to the front of this rock. And that makes it look like it's part of this rock. But it helps to fill in the space and give the illusion that the rock goes underneath him. The key to good sculpting is, is uh, 
when you do a base, you don't make it more elaborate than the sculpture itself because you don't want people's eyes going to the base. You want it to look at the total sculpture and you want to have it complement the total sculpture. So uh, you got to be walk a fine line uh, in uh, doing a base and trying to make it look uh, interesting, but not so interesting you lose interest in the uh, subject that's uh, underneath it. I'm going to leave everything basically the way it is right now. I and, and if I do sell one, or if it does look like I'm going to put it in a gallery, uh, I will go ahead and uh, work real hard to get this thing finished off. I cut the legging off this warrior, the the flap, so I could reach behind it, and uh, now I'll just put it right back on. Yeah, that looks good. And see, that helps hide a little bit of the uh, what's going on behind there, too. Now, this one leg is out there by itself, but that will be easy to make a mold around rather than trying to make a mold around that and underneath and everything like that. So, all right, that's going to be pretty much it today. Uh, I'm going to think about doing something new I'm not sure exactly what i'm going to do yet um but anyway this is uh this is about as far as i'm going to go on this piece until i uh get ready to put it in the foundry or basically put it in a gallery to t sell off of have many of you noticed uh that you aren't getting notifications from those uh channels on YouTube that you subscribe to for about the last month I haven't received a single notification from any of the videos that I've uh, subscribed to and so I wanted to show you what you can do to find out what um, are the latest notices of those channels that you subscribe to are uh, YouTube has stopped sending notifications to desktop computers and laptop computers uh, from no notifications of uh, videos that have been updated from people you follow on YouTube. Don't ask me why, they just stopped doing it. And they're only doing it on cell phones or, you know, iPhones and things like that. There's a bell up here in this top corner of the uh, page let me get up close to it. You see it right there. If you click on it, you might. all your subscriptions drop down and you can see what the latest uploads are from your different subscriptions you have on YouTube. That's how you have to get your updates now. So if you're not getting updates on my videos any longer, that is the reason why. And this is how you can overcome that and start uh, seeing my latest videos if you're missing them. It's, dis it's absolutely exasperating to me that YouTube would do this, but I'm not certain why they're doing this. Uh, anyway, just thought I'd give you a little hint as to how to get your updates <sighs> night sentinel and that's it for today what a pleasure it's been to work on this piece it's taken when did i start this i can't remember it's been at least a year maybe maybe less i don't know all right good night everybody and i'll see you next time not sure when that'll be but next time, give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.